when learning PHP, if writing most of your code using MAMP and testing locally, when it comes time to take your PHP website and upload it to your domain name and make it live, that can be a challenge, especially if you've never done it before. So in this video, I'm just gonna walk through the process of taking a PHP website that uses a MySQL database and transferring it from a local server to a domain name. So I've grabbed an example from a previous video where we used PHP and MySQL to display some images. So currently my web page looks like this. We have a simple query fetching a list of images from the database and then we output those images on a web page. So if we want to transfer this web page from my computer where I was testing it using MAMP and my local host to my domain name, there is basically three steps. First, we need to move all the files over. That includes our images and our PHP script. Second, we need to move our database over. So we'll use PHP my admin to export and then import it. And finally, we need to revise the MySQL connection in our PHP to connect to our online server. Our first step is to upload our PHP files from our computer to our server. So just for testing, I'm using a hosting company called Infinity Free. They provide basic free PHP hosting. So to upload my files, I'm going to use FileZilla. So I'm gonna create a new connection. And I'm just gonna call this ftpupload.net. Okay, in my host, the host for my hosting account is ftpupload.net. My username is here, so I'm just gonna paste that over. And my password is here. And I can paste that in. Okay, now if I click connect, gonna get a warning about their certificate so we will trust that and hit OK and now I have my FTP connection established so with this hosting my public directory is htdocs so I'm just gonna remove everything that's here now and I'm going to take this one file images solution from this image example and this is the file we're going to get working so I'm just going to upload that now this example also uses three images, so I'm gonna take those three images and upload those as well. Next, we need to copy over the database from our local server, our computer, to our hosting account. So I have phpMyAdmin open up on my local server. The table that I want to copy over is called images. So I'm gonna click on the images table and then click export. Now this is a very small table, so I'm just gonna click go and it's going to give me a text copy of the import script. So I'm just going to copy that. If this was a larger table, I could click on import, export, open up the more options here and I could have it download as a file. However, for this example, being such a small table, I'll just copy and paste that text over I'm going to switch over to my hosting account, open up my control panel, and I need to first create a database. So with Infinity Free Hosting, when I create a database, that is the only step I need to take. With most hosting accounts, once you create a database, you will also have to create a user and then connect that user to that database. However, for this, that's all I need to do. Then I just use my one MySQL user and the information that I will need in a bit is all right here. Now that I have my database created, I can open up phpMyAdmin. And I can click on the SQL tab and paste that code that I copied earlier and click go. Now, if I go back to my database homepage, I have an images table 
And inside my images table, I have my three records. So the database has now been copied over. All right, and now finally our last step, we need to update my PHP code with our new connection information. So with Infinity for Free Hosting, they provide you one MySQL user. All the MySQL information I need is on my admin homepage. So I'm gonna copy over my host, my username, and my password. The database name that I made, if I forget, I can go back into my control panel here and I can copy it from the MySQL databases page. So here's my database name here. I also have all my connection information except my password on that page as well. So I can paste that in. And now I can save that. I need to go back to FileZilla and because I've made a change to my page, I need to re-upload my PHP script. And I will overwrite that file. And now to test my temporary domain name that Infinity Free Hosting has provided me is this one here. So I can open that up in a new tab and I wanna add on to that the file name, which is images-solution.php. And there is my working code. Now that process went pretty smooth, but I just wanna show you a couple possible mistakes that might show up. So first, let's say that when you wrote your code locally, your images were in the same folder as your PHP, but when you uploaded, you decided you wanted to be a little more organized and put your images in an images folder. Now, if I refresh, my page still works. However, now I'm getting broken image symbols. So to fix that, I wanna go back to my code. And if the images aren't showing up, then there's something wrong with the source or where I've uploaded my files. And to fix that, you can either adjust your source or move your files. So in this example, let's say I like my images in a new folder, keeps everything nice and organized. So I just need to add the images folder to my source. So just go images folder slash file name. I can save that, open up FileZilla, re-upload my PHP. So now that I'm testing online, anytime I make a change to my PHP code, I have to upload the file from my computer to my hosting account. And now if I refresh this page, our images are working again, except this time they're in that images folder. Another common error you might experience is an error with your connection information. So for example, let's say I forgot to change my host to my online host. Again, re-upload my PHP script and refresh. Okay, I'm now getting a MySQL I connection error. So anytime you see that error, that tells you there is something wrong with your connection line. So one of these four values is incorrect. So in this case, I wanna put my host back, save that. Again, I need to re-upload. So if I re-upload my PHP, and just on a side note, when you're testing or writing code and you're using your hosting account, it really helps to have FileZilla set up properly. So I have my, my files I'm working on on the left. I have the remote location on the right. Anytime I upload, I can just double click or quickly drag it over. This message here is just warning me that I'm overwriting a file. Now I'm going to be overwriting this file many times. So to save me a couple clicks, just check off this always use this action and click okay. 
And then next time I overwrite it, so we'll just upload it again. No warning message, it just overwrites it. And I can refresh my code and my database connection is working again. And the last mistake I often see is, let's say I want to keep my files organized, so I create a folder for this example. We'll call this PHP MySQL images. And then I go into that folder and I upload my PHP script. I create an images directory for my images and I copy my three images into that folder. Okay, then I go back to my code and let's just say I want to add an extra HR here. And maybe another title. Right, and then I save, go back to FileZilla, again, re-upload my PHP. And now if I refresh, I'm not seeing my extra HR and my extra heading. So the reason is I'm uploading my PHP to a folder, PHP MySQL images. However, I am testing my old script, which is not inside that folder. So I see this quite often when people are learning PHP or really anything where you are transferring your files online. You really wanna make sure you stay organized. Here I have two copies of my example code and I am making changes to one, but then I'm testing the other and now I'm getting frustrated because my changes aren't showing up. So stay super organized. Only have one copy online unless you have a reason to have two. So I'm gonna delete that previous copy. Then at least if I upload my code and then refresh, I now get a page not found error. So now I can go on, oh yeah, I need to fix my URL. Um, otherwise you, you, think it, you think you're looking at it properly, but your changes aren't showing up and it can be quite frustrating. So stay organized. I can't tell you how many times someone has had a problem with their with their code or with their web project. And before I even address the problem, I just help them get organized. And then half the time that fixes the problem anyway. So stay organized and you will have less problems in the long run.